Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let's look at this interesting example related to arithmetic series or arithmetic progression. If a1, a2, a3 are in AP, can we show or prove that 1 by a1, a2 plus 1 by a2, a3 plus all the terms up to the last term 1 by an minus 1 into an is equal to is equal to n minus 1 divided by a1 into an that's what we have to prove okay so how to solve this problem certainly we don't want to take lcm so we have to look at the solution or rhs what i have to prove i have to prove n n minus 1 divided by a1 into an if you observe that a1 is the beginning the first term is having a1 and the last term is having an that means the remaining all a2 a3 a4 all of them should be cancelled out so how i can cancel them i can cancel them only if i write something like 1 by a1 minus 1 by a2 plus 1 by a2 minus 1 by a3 right so the first step what we have to do is how i have to convert this this product into a subtraction so for that what i will do i will just check what is 1 by a1 minus 1 by a2 this is no way related to whatever is given there we are just checking what is that 1 by a1 minus 1 by a2 is nothing but a2 minus a1 divided by a1 a2 we know that a2 minus a1 or a3 minus a2 or is always equal to common difference d so can i say this is equal to d by a1 a2 so that's good we are able to establish a relationship between what we want and what what is given to us so what i can write down now i can say that i can say that 1 by a1 a2 is nothing but equal to 1 by d into 1 by a1 minus 1 by a2 now can you tell me how i can write the next one then can I say 1 by a2 a3 is nothing but equal to 1 by d into same logic I can apply and say 1 by a2 minus 1 by a3 okay now with this understanding let's go back to our problem so we'll write down the first step we will say that 1 by a1 a2 is equal to 1 by d I can take common in all of them then I will have 1 by a1 minus 1 by a2 this is what is for the first one then i will have 1 by d into 1 by a2 minus 1 by a3 this goes on till the last term this goes on till the last term and at the end i will have 1 by d into 1 by a n minus 1 minus 1 by a n that is what i will have in the last term so i can take 1 by d common then what is left out now i can write it as 1 by a1 minus 1 by a2 plus 1 by a2 minus 1 by a3 now you can see that other than the first term and the last term remaining all terms are cancelling it out so we have 1 by an at the end we'll have minus 1 by this will be minus I'll just change it now when we simplify this what will happen our next step will be we can see very pretty clearly that all the terms will cancel other than the first and last so can I write 1 by a1 minus 1 by a n now we will take LCM because we see that we have a1 a n so it will be 1 by d multiplied with lcm if i take i will have a n minus a1 that's equal to 1 by d into a n minus a1 by a1 a n now the next step will be i see in the answer i need n minus 1 so that means i have to find out the relation between a n and a 1 we know the formula that a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d so 
can I write down a n minus a 1 is equal to n minus 1 into d. So, I can go back and say a n minus a 1 equal to n minus 1 into d divided by a 1 into a n. Now, I can cancel d and d. I will be getting n minus 1, n minus 1 divided by a1 into an that's what we have to prove so let me just summarize this what we have done we have to prove that 1 by a1 a2 plus 1 by a2 a3 like that the, till the last term sum of them is equal to n minus 1 by a1 into an so since we see in the solution the denominator we have a1 and an so remaining all terms which are there in the arithmetic progression are series a2 a3 all of them should cancel the cancellation will happen only when I am able to transform the product into a subtraction. So then we understood that we understood that 1 by a1 a2 is 1 by a1 a2 is nothing but equal to 1 by d into 1 by a1 minus 1 by a2. Now this we are able to understand. Once we are able to understand that, we just went ahead and substituted in terms of the given terms. We see that all of them cancel and at the end we apply the formula a n equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d. We simplify, we get n minus 1 by a1 into a n. That's one interesting example which I thought of sharing with you. So, I'll catch you once again with another interesting example. Till then, thanks for your time and support. Bye.